Hey, Bearwood here. Day three of the Stone Wash Blue Kitchen. Now, um, when these things get clogged up, I find a tent peg is just the right size to get in there and push that old stuff out. So that works really good. Now, I'm removing the sealant, this area over here. I'm going to add some sealant over there. I think the water was going down into that corner, causing some problems. So a little bit of sealant down there. I've been using uh, this window scraper a lot. Just it takes a couple. It takes a couple of passes. Just work at it a little bit. Works works on the wall pretty good. Then the uh, utility knife. I usually use a lot of that. Cut that baby out like that. Now I'm going to be taping this up. Um, got some good. I like this this low tack. Is that what it's called? Easy Mask Clean Edge Tape. It's expensive, but it goes down nicely. Because I, I don't want a very big bead on there. So a little bit. I think I'm going to put a little bit in each window in the corner, maybe. Just to seal that a little bit. So then, since it's around the sink, I'm going to use my hot air gun just to warm everything up a little bit. Make sure it's all nice and dry. I find that's I'm using this a lot. Drying things out quickly. It's a cheap little thing for 10 quid at screw fix. Works great. And then when we get done with that, I'm going to go back over here and put a second coat on this wall back here. And then we're going to start with the, the uh, gloss. So I'll probably do the trim if I'm going to do any trim. I might stay away from the trim so I can get on with the white and just do the big field areas. Anything looks like it needs it, but that's the most important. Then I got to do the shelves. Got these shelves we're going to put in over here and that space there. So that's that. Get those all sorted out and then I'll varnish those, get them all fitted and everything, and then take them out and um, do the varnish and stick them back in because it's too much trouble doing it in place. One little spot of blue on the ceiling up there. And that's it for now. 100 of these blades for 10 quid at Screw Fix. Not a bad price.